Have you ever been shopping for a jersey online and just looking at the sizes and not knowing what to pick? You just scroll through them and then you look at the sizing chart and you're like, what the heck is this? This could be a really stressful situation. You don't want the jersey too long and you don't want it too short. Calm down, Zeke. This is easily the most common question that I get, and I wish there was a one-size-fit-all answer. There's so many different factors when it comes to sizing that you should take account for, like body type, weight, style preference, so much more to unpack. But in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and address these factors and hopefully help you find what Nike sizing that you need. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you my personal recommendation when it comes to sizing for Nike NBA jerseys. So before we get started, if you guys find this video helpful, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell. So when I drop new videos or there's sales or new releases, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. The first factor we're gonna address is understanding the jersey style. So Nike has two different style jerseys. It's gonna be the Swingman jersey and the authentic version. So if you don't know or understand what the difference is between the two, I'm gonna link a video where I show the difference between the two jerseys, but basically, the Swingman jersey is gonna be your replica jersey. It has like a boxier kind of fit compared to the authentic version. The authentic version is the like on court, you get the same premium finishes, the same kind of jersey that they wear on court. So that tends to have more a uh, performance driven kind of like build. So it's gonna be a little slimmer fit and just form fitting. Right here we got a 2022 LeBron James Classic Edition jersey and last year's City Edition Authentic version. Yes, I have a Composo jersey, right? When it comes to sizing between the two counterparts, the Authentic and the Swingman version, the Authentic usually has a little extra length on the backside. So it's kind of harder to see it here, but the Authentic has one extra inch on length compared to the Swingman jersey, but the Swingman tends to have like a boxier, wider type of feel. And then the material that they use on the Swingman, it's a little more stretchy very stretchy when it comes to the authentic version you can see right here not as stretchy like i said it's going to be a performance driven type of jersey it's more form fitting but in general the authentics run a little longer and a tad bit slimmer than the swing band jerseys even if you measure jerseys year by year it just depends on who made the jersey that day and like there might be a little half inch maybe an extra inch that's why on the Nike sizing chart, they give you like a range when it comes to sizing. Like, oh, this could be 29 inches to 31. So never always the same in like uniform. It just happens, that's manufacturing. And if you've never bought one of these Nike NBA jerseys and you're used to like the old Adidas runs or Reebok runs or Mitchell and Ness, there is a size difference. So you can see here, this one's a size large. This one's a size medium Adidas Swingman jersey. You can see it's like way boxier. And then a medium is like still longer than this large right here. So if this was a size large, it'd be a little longer. So if you're used to that, there's gonna be a difference when it comes to these Nike runs. This is probably the most important factor to include when deciding what size to get with a Nike NBA jersey is gonna be your body type. Everybody has a different body type, whether you're tall, short, thin, got a little extra weight or muscular, the list goes on. So just recognizing what your body type is is gonna be helpful when picking an NBA jersey sizing. Don't be like me and think you could still wear a size small from like five years ago, cause it just doesn't look right. Another factor to think about is your wear or style preference. So some people like to have a baggier look, some people like the slim fit look, some people like to wear it under a hoodie. It just depends on the person. This goes down to knowing your own personal preference. Some people like a baggier look, so you might have to go a size up. Or if you want more chest room, you go a size up. If you want that slimmer fit and just more form fitting, you may just go with your t-shirt size. Or I've known some people to go a size down to kind of get like that really perfect form fitting look. So it just depends. Just knowing your personal preference is going to be really helpful when looking for a Nike NBA jersey. Personally for myself, a shorter NBA jersey doesn't look good on me. I like to hide my gut, so I go a size up. This one doesn't apply to everybody, but if you're expecting changes to your body, like if you're trying to bulk up or you're trying to lose weight, think about, oh, if I'm gonna lose weight, I may want a jersey a little smaller so I could fit into it. Or if you know you're like getting bigger, think about like, oh man, I used to wear a size medium. Maybe I should go up in size. This may also apply to the younger NBA fans. It's just thinking about like growth spurts. So if you're like a preteen teenager and you know you're gonna grow and things like that, I'd kind of factor that in as well. So if it's a player you like or a jersey you really like and you know you might outgrow it because, you know, growth spurts, they happen real quick. 
Maybe think about getting a size up so you could grow into it, so you could have it for a longer time. Because sometimes when you do get it and you get a growth spurt, you outgrow it. And now that jersey you won't wear. So just a little thing to maybe think about. Now we made it to the end of the video. So whenever people ask me what size NBA jersey I should get, this is what I usually tell them. My personal recommendation is more of a guideline. It's not a like a rule that's set in stone, but it just gives you a starting point and then you wanna factor those things that I spoke about previously in the video. I always recommend people going with their shirt size. So if you wear a size men's medium, I would go with the swingman or the authentic and then medium as well. Then you wanna factor, you know, your style preference and stuff like that, maybe body type. So if you wear a large, go with the large. So that's like the start off point, then you wanna adjust accordingly. But even after the video, if you're still not 100% confident in the sizing that you want, like not everybody wants to do return and exchanges online. It's sometimes a hassle and just no one needs that extra stress. I would say go into your local mall. So like there's a lot of lids in malls, a lot of sports stores. Go in the mall and actually try on the jersey. So usually at stores, they have the swingman jerseys for retail and you can try them on and you can see, oh, medium works, large works, small works. You can find your size there and then you don't have to buy it. You could just go online and get the jersey that you're wanting and now you know your size. And that's pretty much my sizing recommendation when it comes to Nike NBA jerseys. But like I said, everybody has a different body type. Everybody has different preferences. So maybe that start off point would be a good point to go with first and then kind of play around and see. But like I said, go in store because the Swingman jerseys are usually on like sales floor of like Dick's Sporting Goods, you got, I don't know, everywhere, lids, stuff like that. Try them on and then you can kind of see going forward like, all right, this is my size. So hope this video is helpful, guys, and on to the next video.